Welcome back. You are in session five. And if you have been doing your sessions regularly, which is every day or every alternate day, you have definitely improved your stamina and your endurance. Consistency is really the key. The movements today are skipping, squats, Russian twists, and quick feet to push up. Are we ready? Yes, let's get started with a warm up. All right, now for your warm up, we will have four different movements and we will be doing two rounds of these movements. The first movement is called the world's greatest stretch. Yes, one of the phenomenal warm up movements. Now go down to an exaggerated lunge position. Let's start with your right foot in front. Yeah, left foot straight at the back. Now place your left arm at the bottom and your right arm right next to your right foot. Now very gently lift your right arm up towards the ceiling. Yes, a nice rotation of the spine and then you bring it back. Okay, we're going to do this for 30 seconds on one side and then switch to the other. Are we ready? Let's go. Bring your right arm all the way down, elbow touching the floor and then raise it to the ceiling. Yeah, ensure your right knee is bent 90 degrees and the knee does not go ahead of the toes at any point. Your left leg at the back must be stretched out straight. Okay, 10 seconds to go. Keep moving. Hamstring, hip flexors. Okay, and switch. Bring your left foot in front. Bend your left knee. Use your left arm. Go down and all the way up to the ceiling. Elbow down to the floor and arm up to the ceiling. Ensure your right leg at the back is stretched out, nice and straight. Brilliant. This one's really opening up the entire body. 10 seconds to go, keep moving. At your own pace. And done. Your second warm-up movement is the inchworm. Keep your feet hip width apart, hinge at the hips, bring your arms down to the floor. Now use your arms to crawl forward into a plank position. Now bring your legs closer to the arms one step at a time. Hold for two seconds and use your legs to crawl back into that plank position. Brilliant. We do that together for one full minute. Let's go. Use your legs, crawl forward as close to the arms as possible. Hold for two seconds and walk back. Keep going, one more. Now ensure your arms don't move, they're right there beneath the shoulders. Yeah, crawl back and back in. This one's really opening up the hamstring, the calf muscle and back. Breathe in and breathe out. And when you're back, ensure you maintain the plank position. Brilliant also really opening up the upper body and back. Take it at your own pace, one step at a time, but bring your legs as close as you can to the arms. Last 10 seconds, keep moving. Keep your knees soft, but do not bend it too much and done. Your third movement is the bird dog. Go down on all fours, your arms right beneath your shoulder, keep your knees hip width apart. Now, bring your right arm and your left leg off the ground and extend it out straight, okay? Now bring your left knee and right elbow in and out again. When you're out, hold for three seconds and bring it back in again. Right elbow and left knee and out. We're going to do 30 seconds on either side. Are we ready? Get to position and go. Right arm, left leg. Extend out and bring it in. And out. Hold and in. Yes. In the beginning, you will feel like you're losing balance, but don't worry. Keep at it. Okay? Ensure your right arm and left leg is off the ground. Don't drop it down. Keep pushing it out straight and bringing it back in. 10 seconds to go, 
keep moving. This one's an excellent movement to strengthen the core and change. Switch sides, your left arm and your right leg. Extend out nice and straight and bring it back in. Really strengthens the core, stabilizes the spine. Don't drop your head or push it up. Keep it aligned with the spine. Bring it in and push it out nice and straight. Keep going. Just 10 seconds. I know this one could look very simple, but it really attacks the core. Almost there and done. Your fourth warm up movement is the downward to upward. Now keep your feet hip width apart, hinge at the hips, reach your arms down to the floor, crawl a little in front and hold. Ensure your hips are pointed to the ceiling. Okay, now hold that position and from here we transition into a cobra. Go all the way down. Right here, the hip flexors open up, chest upright, shoulders down and don't push it towards your ear. Let's do this for one full minute. Okay, up. Hold that downward dog a few seconds and go down. Open up the abdomen, chest and your hip flexors. Look straight, relax those shoulders and back up. Push your hips up to the ceiling. Keep your feet on the ground. Don't lift up on the toes and down. Brilliant, keep your elbows soft. Okay, transition back up, hips to the ceiling. Downward dog. Again, this particular warm up is opening up the entire body, right from your shoulders to spine to hamstring, calf muscle, and hip flexor. Go down to the upward. Inhale and exhale. Hold and rise. Hips to the ceiling. Hold a few seconds and down. 10 seconds to go. And to the ceiling, hips to the ceiling, hold and done. Okay, are we ready to move on with the warm up to round two? Your first movement is the world's greatest stretch. 30 seconds on either side, okay? Let's go. The right side, your time starts now. Move your arm, elbow down on the floor, and then the arm going up to the ceiling. Your right knee, ensure it does not go ahead of the toes and your left leg is extended out straight. Keep moving. Take that arm down and up. Last 10 seconds. Brilliant. A good rotation for the spine. And switch sides. Left leg in front, right leg at the back, nice and straight and go. Left elbow down and bring the arm up to the ceiling. Keep moving at your own pace. Ensure your left knee does not go ahead of the toes at any point. Right knee is soft, 10 seconds, but extend it out straight. Keep going. And done. Your second movement is the inchworm. Okay, let's get straight into it. Your time starts now. Feet apart, hinge at the hips, roll forward, hold and bring your legs in towards your arm. Hold and crawl back with your legs straight to the plank position and crawl back in closer to the arms. Keep moving at your own pace and back. Your warm-up, of course, will have all dynamic movements. So keep moving. Don't hold that stretch for too long. And back. Crawl in front with your legs and back with the legs. Keep your arms right where they are, beneath the shoulders. Yes. Warming up the hamstring, calf muscles. Keep going. Excellent. Breathe in and breathe out. 10 seconds. Good work. 
and done. The third movement is the bird dog. Let's get straight into it. 30 seconds on either side. Are we ready? All fours and go. Right arm and left leg. Bring it out straight. Bring it in. Ensure you keep it off the ground at all times. Engage those abdomen muscles. Keep your head aligned with your spine. Breathe in and breathe out. 10 seconds. Keep moving. Really stabilizing the spine and switch. Left arm and right leg. Out, extend it out straight and bring it in. Elbow and knee touching and extend it all the way out. Brilliant. The best workout to strengthen that core. Keep going, 10 seconds to go. Super. Almost done. And done. Your fourth movement is the downward to upward. Okay, keep your feet hip width apart. Are we ready? Let's go. Okay, hold that downward position. Hips up to the ceiling, feet on the ground. And from here, let's go down to the upward. Yeah, open the chest, the abdomen muscle, the hip flexor. Hold and hips up to the ceiling to the downward. Hold right there, feel that hamstring and calf stretch. Your upper back completely opening up. And go, chest down and up. Hold that upward position. Keep your elbows soft, shoulders down. And now push the hips up to the ceiling. Hold. Inhale and exhale. And go back to the upward position. 10 seconds. Hold strong. And hips up to the ceiling. This one's opening up the entire body and down. Round one, movement one is skipping. Listen to the instructions and then we do it together. Keep your feet together, closer, arms suspended and have an imaginary rope in your hand. Now jump off the ground, really small short jumps and use your arms, pretend to have a skipping rope. That's it, a simple yet strong movement. Let's do this together for one full minute. Let's go. You must have that imaginary skipping rope. That's the only way you are going to move your arms. Keep your elbow close to the body, but keep that wrist rotating. Jump off the ground, small, short jumps. Keep your knees soft and keep moving. Super. Use your arms, keep moving those wrists, inhale and exhale, 30 seconds to go. Definitely improving your leg strength, but this is a very good movement to take the heart rate up gradually and definitely an easy movement to implement anywhere. 10 seconds, keep moving. Move those arms, feet off the ground, keep your feet closer. And done. The second movement is the squat. Yes, the famous squat. Keep your feet shoulder width apart, knees soft, push your hips back and down. Push your knees to the side, which is diagonal. Again, imagine sitting on a chair. Okay, and keep your back upright, heel pressed on the ground. Are we ready? We're gonna do this simple squat for one full minute. And let's go. Again, you can choose to go just about parallel, a little below parallel, or all the way down. Okay, ensure your feet are shoulder width apart. It doesn't need to be any closer or any further apart. And two very important points, of course, keep your back as straight as possible. Do not bend forward, look straight and your heels will at all points be pressed on the floor. 
Super. 30 seconds to go. You can even choose to keep your arms out. That way your upper back will always remain straight if you have the tendency of leaning forward. Brilliant. Again, don't need to rush into the movement. Do it at your own pace. 10 seconds to go. You'll definitely feel the burn on the quads now. Nice. And done. Movement three is the Russian twist. Down on the floor, keep your abs really engaged. Now lean a little at the back, but keep your upper body straight. Feet off the ground, and you're going to move your arms one side to the other. Yes, you will seem like you'll be losing a little bit of balance out here, but drop your legs if you need to and bring it back up. Are we ready? One minute on the clock and go. Yes, this one will need a whole lot of balance and stability. It will come with practice, so don't worry. If you lose balance, go back down, come back up. But keep that midsection engaged. Keep your abs tight. And your back straight. And move those arms, shoulder, from one side to the other. Focus on breathing. Inhale and exhale. 30 seconds to go. Come on, you're doing good. Squeeze your abs. This one's really engaging the entire core. Your abdomen, your obliques, your back. You'll feel it on your quads as well because your legs are off the ground. Brilliant. Come on, 10 seconds. Don't stop now. Don't drop. Super. Breathe. Hold. And done. Your fourth movement is quick feet to a push-up. Yes, first of all, for the quick feet, keep your feet closer, knees soft, hands together right near the chest and go as fast as you can. Yes, move that feet as fast as you can. 30 seconds of this and then 30 seconds of push-up. Plank position, arms right beneath your shoulder. Now go down all the way, chest to floor and back up. If you're not able to do the push-up, you can definitely keep your knees down to do the beginner level and go all the way down and back up. Are we ready? One minute, 30 seconds of quick feet and 30 seconds of push-up. And go! Engage that midsection. Keep your knees soft, feet closer and as fast as you can go. Come on, this one's going to burn the quads. But don't worry, before you know it, we will be moving into the push-up. Super. Inhale, exhale. Keep your knees soft. Your core engaged. And down. Push up for 30 seconds. Go. At your own pace, okay? You don't need to hurry. Brilliant. Keep your elbows tucked in. Ensure the arms are right beneath the shoulder. 10 seconds. Come on, come on, come on. Almost there. Give me two more. Okay, you can go faster and jump. Rest for 30 seconds before we move on to round two. Take a deep breath. Walk around, avoid sitting down. You do not want to drop your heart rate abruptly, so walk around, take a deep breath, relax those arms and legs, and grab some water. Getting into round two, back to back, four movements. Okay, and done. Round two, movement one. Skipping. Feet together. Hold on to that skipping rope. And one minute on the clock. Go. Apart from the jump, the movement of the wrist becomes extremely important. That's engaging a lot of the upper body, especially your forearms, shoulders. Keep your knees soft and feet close to each other. 
gradually taking the heart rate up. I know you're very warm now and I know your heart rate is also quite high. 30 seconds. Come on, keep going. Breathe in, breathe out, nice and deep. Hold strong. Super. Move the wrist. 10 seconds. Almost done. Come on. Nice. And done. And your second movement is the squat. Get your position right. Feet shoulder width apart. One minute on the clock and go. At your own pace. This is really my favorite movement. If you can go all the way down the bottommost position of the squat, you know, your ankle, your knee, your hip mobility is then really, really good. Keep your back straight and heels pressed down on the ground. Come on. 30 seconds to go. Look straight, keep moving. Push your knee out to the side, diagonal. Brilliant. Come on. Drop down as low as you can. 10 seconds. Doing good. Come on, inhale, exhale. And done. And your third movement is the Russian twist. Go down, take a deep breath, engage those abs, and one minute, okay? Go! Feet off the ground. Keep your upper body in an angle, but keep your back straight. Yeah, move your shoulder one side to the other. Keeping your abs extremely tight, working the abdomen muscles, working your obliques. Brilliant. Breathe. Breathe. 30 seconds to go. Inhale and exhale nice and deep. You can hold on there longer if you are breathing more efficiently. Come on, we're doing good. Doing good. Don't drop. We're almost there. Come on, 10 seconds. Just the last leg. Come on, push. Super. And done. And your fourth one is a quick beat to push up. One minute on the clock, 30 seconds each. And go. Feet together, closer, and move your feet as fast as you can. Okay, keep that midsection engaged and knees soft. Yes, it's taking your heart rate up, but it's really engaging a lot of the lower body, strengthening your lower body. Come on, keep going. And down to the push-up. Your last 30 seconds, come on. Do it slow, but do it strong with full range of motion. Chest down to the floor. And when you're up, I want a complete lockout. Super. Come on. This one also needs a lot of the engagement of the midsection. Because if you don't have that, 10 seconds, you will end up dropping your hips. Beautiful. Almost there. Come on. And done. Rest 30 seconds before we move on to round three. Now you feel tired now as we have progressed, but this is your last round. You need to give it your all. Drink some water, take some deep breaths, and just get stronger in the head, mind over matter. And let's give this our all. and done. Round three, movement one, skipping. Are we ready? One minute and go. Jump 
walk the ground, you know the movement, skipping, such an ancient movement, we used to love doing this so much in school, did you ever imagine doing it as a part of your regular workout routine? Well, here it is, one of the very good movements, definitely helps you build your stamina, build your endurance, very gradually taking the heart rate up. Super, just 30 seconds to go, doing good, your last round. Move your wrist, you don't need to move your entire arm, it's primarily the wrist. Knee soft, small jump. 10 seconds, come on. Stronger, faster. And done. Your second one is the squat. Get your feet stance and one minute on the clock. Go. Brilliant. Full range of motion. Push your knee out, hips down, back straight, heels on the ground. Beautiful. Come on. Keep going. We're doing good. Inhale and exhale. 30 seconds to go. This movement is definitely going to strengthen your knee. Yes. For a strong knee, you need to strengthen your quads, that's your thighs, your hamstring, your calf, and your shin. And this is one such movement. Brilliant. 10 seconds. Keep going. Super. And done. And your third movement is the Russian twist. Go down. Get set. Engage your abs. One minute and go. Remember to bring your feet off the ground. Yeah, it's all about the core control. Look straight, back straight, but you're leaning a little lower, so you are, your upper body is in an angle. Nice, come on. Inhale and exhale, 30 seconds to go. We're doing good. We're almost nearing the end, come on. Hold your feet off the ground. You're gonna feel this on your quads now. Your hips. Stay there. Push your limits. Come on, 10 seconds. We're in this together. Keep pushing. And done. And the fourth movement. Quick feet, transitioning to a push-up. Are we ready? One minute on the clock, feet together and go. Your last movement and your last round. Come on. Give me your all. As fast as you can. Abs engaged, knees soft. Come on, run as fast as you can. Excellent. I know you're feeling this, especially on the lower body. Come on, 30 seconds done. Down to the push-up. The final leg. Keep going. Brilliant work. Full range of motion. Head to toe, one straight line. Rest all you want after this. Come on. Nice work. Full range of motion. Keep your elbows tucked in. And done. Rest for 30 seconds before we get into the cool down. Yes. Take a deep breath. You've done well. And drink loads of water. Ready to start. 
Twitch. And done. All right, time to cool down. Your first stretch is the quad stretch. Grab your ankle and bring your heel close to the butt. Now hold that stretch for 30 seconds. Let's go. Now ensure you pull your heel close enough to the butt. Let it be in contact with the butt. This way you really feel the stretch on your quads or your thighs. The one that you have really worked so hard. Hold right there. If you lose balance, of course, grab anything around you. You can push your knee a little bit at the back. That way you can also get a good stretch for your hip flexors. Hold. Okay, and switch. One. And go. Hold strong. Ensure your heel is in contact with the butt. Keep your upper body straight. Inhale and exhale. And push that knee very gently, a little to the back, stretching the hip flexor as well. Hold strong, almost done. And done. Your second one is a stretch for your hamstring and your calf muscle. Now keep your feet shoulder width apart, hinge at the hips, reach your arms all the way down to the floor. Okay, head down, hold on to your toes or reach your arms down to the floor and hold. 30 seconds, your time starts now. Keep your knees soft but do not bend it too much. Then it beats the purpose of the stretch. You really must feel the stretch on your hamstring and your calf. Hold strong, head down. Good work. You can either grab your toes or simply keep your arms on the floor. Keep a watch on those knees. All right, and done. Your next stretch is for your lats and also for your spine. Keep your feet really wide. Now bring your left arm to your right calf or your ankle and hold. Now lift your right arm up to the ceiling and look up, eyes on the ceiling as well. Hold that stretch for 30 seconds. You will feel your back, your lats, everything just open up and stretch. Hold. You'll also feel the stretch around your inner thighs. Arms straight up towards the ceiling. Look up and hold on to your ankle. Inhale and exhale. Almost there. And switch. Use your right arm to hold on to your left ankle. Bring your left arm up to the ceiling and look up. The time starts now. Hold. This one's really stretching again the entire body. Apart from the focus being on the lats and the back. Breathe in and breathe out. The stretching becomes extremely essential for you to recover better and to avoid any sort of injury. Hold strong. And done. And your last stretch is for the back and chest. Keep your feet comfortably apart. Bring your arms in front. Hold and stretch the back. You can put your head down, opening up the back a little more. Hold that stretch, 30 seconds. Yeah, push your back. Yeah, open up. Keep your knees soft. Just hold that stretch. Inhale and exhale. Take it to the chest stretch. Push your arms all the way to the back. Yeah, 
Hold them together and open up the chest in front. Hold that for 30 full seconds. Look straight. Chest out. Knee soft. Hold. Breathe in and breathe out. We're almost there. Finishing up really well. Your warm up and cool down is extremely essential for a good workout. And done. Well, that was a super workout. Now remember. Foods like oatmeal, banana, peanut butter all have qualities that boost energy and can also help build a lot of stamina. Absolutely. Working out or exercising regularly and eating clean most times will make all the difference. On that note, we will sign off. See you in session 6.